Hello, welcome to Dinosaurs Before There Were Fuels. This is the show where we cover dinosaur news. I'm your host, Ayaz Akhtar, and today we're going to update you on the Triceratops controversy that blew up since the last time we met. Last time we talked about how a recent study said that the Triceratops and Taurosaurus were actually the same animal. Oh boy, did that cause a big flare up. A quick recap, Jack Horner and John Scanella, after years of research, determined that the Taurosaurus was really a mature version of the Triceratops. Now why did people think that the Taurosaurus and Triceratops were two distinct animals? The two looked very different from each other. It turns out that juvenile dinosaurs and adult dinosaurs could vary greatly in appearance. Boingboing.net presented a good example. Think about uh, the difference between a baby chick and a full grown chicken. They look very different, but since we can observe a chicken's life cycle, it's easy to believe that. Anyway, a lot of people got very upset about this Triceratops discovery. Why? First, people thought that the Triceratops was no longer going to be a dinosaur. Facebook groups were created exclaiming that the Triceratops name should live on and that the Taurosaurus should go away. The reason for this pro Triceratops movement? Well, people grew up with the Triceratops. They can't go away. Editorials were written in newspapers like the Chicago Tribune exclaiming that the revisionists were going to take away the Triceratops like they took away the planetary status from Pluto. Alright, now it's time to clear up all of this fervor. There are scientific naming conventions that would preserve the Triceratops name because it was discovered first. If blog writers, Gizmodo, I'm looking at you, read the story that Montana State University released, MSU is the school where Mr. Scanella is getting his doctorate and where Mr. Horner is currently teaching, you can plainly see a couple of quotes that should have calmed everyone down. Quote, dinosaurs that used to be called Taurosaurus are now considered Triceratops, Horner said, end quote. Taking a look at the sidebar, quote, the classic image of a Triceratops is on the left, and on the right is the new face of the Triceratops, previously called Taurosaurus." End quote. So the Triceratops name is preserved and the Taurosaurus name will be going away if the theory is accepted. I'm about to go off on a little editorial myself. Now let's step back a little. Even if the Taurosaurus name continued and the Triceratops name was the one that ended, that means very little. folks. Science is the search for truth. It is not the search for things we want to be true. When I was a kid, T-Rexes were thought to be swift and upright, 100% predator. Now, research shows that the T-Rex was probably as fast as an elephant, based on a nerve study, and it probably leaned over for its posture, for balance, and probably had both predatory and scavenger behaviors. That's right, this thing was kind of like a vulture at times. If anyone watching is looking to get into any scientific field, be aware that you may find things you don't like. But that doesn't mean that you should fight the truth, whatever the name of this particular animal, the Triceratops or Taurosaurus or, I don't care, Animal X, the name isn't really important. Finding out that was what was once thought to be two distinct animals, or actually one, is the real find. Finding out that dinosaur morphology could be so diverse within the same animal's life, that's the real find. All right, editorial over. Everyone calm, including myself, good. I'm gonna take a breather and I'll see everyone in around two weeks. Remember, you can subscribe to this show at dinoshow.com or watch us on YouTube if you want. A quick shout out to 61BTOD on YouTube. Thanks for participating on our YouTube channel. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and thank you for watching.